Hey guys, Tyrop here bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Elst outskirts. We're actually spawning in the south. We have Latouf playing as Soviets who has guard motor, shock army, and mechanized support. Teaming up with him is PS3, yes. With US forces, urban assault, tactical support, and heavy cavalry. Opposing them, we have, uh, Google Translate tells me, Fernando. Has uh, OKW who has breakthrough. Overwatch and Grand Offensive, and finally Clanad, Lossier, who has Assault Support, Lightning War, and German Infantry. A range team on the Axis side, around rank 140, up against random team Latouf, 140, and Pestrius in the mid 20s. So we'll see if uh, Random team can overcome the uh, arranged with slightly higher ranks. Area secure. Panzer Fusiliers assigned to the front. And yet, it, <laughs> this name is in uh, Katakana Japanese script, so that's why it means Fernando. All right, the wire down. Saw some on this building as well. Getting some on some heavy cover positions. Two combat engineers early on for Latouf. Oh, he's very close to completing the sandbags. I think I probably would have just tried to finish them off and then cut my losses with the pyro, but he's getting out of there. Maybe hoping to bring them back in. As the fight continues. And the green it is. Can we even fight up there though? Sniper from Clan Ed, okay. Looks like the tooth though with the superior cover positions. Doing quite well at the moment. Sniper can swing things around. I've been outnumbered down here. But a couple of squads rotating in from the other side. They don't want to run down the road though, so fighting from range. We've got a sniper up to two kills already. Conscripts marching forwards. Managed to secure the fuel. He's trying to get a shot off, but it's not going to happen. And the Grenadier turns around for the rest of the conscripts. Four kills already. Trying to start for the sniper. And she did end up building a... Oh, no! PS3, yes, lost that rifle on retreat. Sturmpose in the retreat path. Wow, okay, that's a big wipe. He only went for two rifle tech, fast ambo, so really lacking infantry after that rifle wipe. Getting the mechanized upgrade now. And going into a 50 cal after that. So it's not going to be a fast M20. Oh, you know. I mean, it might already be a bit too late for a, like an ultra fast M20, and hmm, maybe he's not aware of the sniper on the other side of the map. Put it on hunting. Two for going for tier two, so I'm not going to go for tier one counter snipes or anything like that. Just following the usual build path. And you know, at least the conscripts cheap to reinforce. Alright, tier 2 up. Good timing for Clan Ed as well. He's going to get that 2 2 2 out really fast. Usually he's forced away on the far edge. Allies making a bit of a move through the scent here. They got a lot of units in the small area. 
kind of necessary if you want to deal with a sniper because you send one squad in, it drops a model, then you're just going to lose the fight. Any 1v1 fight against the enemy's squads apart like after that point, so try come in with overwhelming numbers so that if you do lose one or two models on approach, you still have enough to push through. Fun of sniper gameplay. Cycles the stern pipes into the building. Quite effective at that range. Sniper's rotating to the other side of the map. Bluetooth remaining evasive with the majority of his army, and it looks like he's going to rotate up to the north now. He does go for the M20, but this is a bit late. You know, he went for both the ambience and the 50 cal before this. Kind of need to be one or the other, I think. So, you know, it's not even like doing damage. Almost at 6.30 mark. Considering 222s often arrive, you know, 5.30, you kind of want your M20 to arrive maybe 30 seconds before that. P3s did manage. Has locked into heavy cavalry though. The problem with that is it only has, you know, the one rifle in the plant mines. Big damage charging down the road. Oh, this is just... Ooh. Bloodbath for Latouf. Making that push. Ooh. Even a 27. Shrek inside the building. Misses the M20 though. It's got a good cover position, but... It goes an incendiary grenade. And there we go. Shrek does connect. Now the M20 actually has to be a little bit careful. Oh, boy, he's blocking his own retreat park there. Just took the battlefield. And the 222 is rolling down. We do have a bazooka squad and an anti-tank grenade squad running defense at the moment. But he's trying to repair this up on the front lines. And now he's... Oh, what's he doing with this? Crazy risky. Could lose this now. So the 222 is going to get cold feet. I think maybe you could hear the M20 crushing a few of these little world objects and shrubs and whatnot. I think he could have just chased all the way to base with the 222 there, but saw the 50 cal got cold feet. Risky stuff for PS3, yes, though. He should have, you know, from here, come around the long way, I think. That's all right. point is under attack. Worked out in the end. Ready for 222's now rotated to the north. We have a quad up here with a engine critical. You need something built? Combat engineers coming up. Doesn't have sweepers on them yet. Struggling for munitions between the DPs, the quad upgrade and the flamethrower. Med kit and utilization there from Planet, and he's camped up behind these heavy cover positions. Very be difficult to break. Tooth has locked into mechanized support, so not a heavy mortar to lean on. And uh, rather unusually, Fernando going for a looks. This also is arriving a little bit on the late side. A T gun for PS3S, yes, who's going for a double officer build. Double units across here for Latouf assisting with this push. To mean that maybe his own push is going to have some trouble up in the north. He's making some inroads, but the pack is right there, only slightly out of range. Combat engineer is getting very low. Gonna get away. We are losing a sector. Just peppering away here, but taking a couple of bazooka hits. AT gun still not quite there. Have a close call on the M20. It's out of range though before the second raketin shot comes in. Cow here getting roasted. Somehow getting suppressed. 
Even though it's out of range, I guess the rear echelon providing some AoE suppression. Oh! Ooh, decent attempt. A little bit off to the right. Do have anti tank grenades, so the 222 will be on its guard. Come through here and crush the remaining S vines. But it would result in some damage on the quad. Looks like the pack's going to rotate down. Feels like the uh, allies could do with some indirect fire at the moment. These buildings causing them some major headaches. Uh, we've also got a very early bunker down here for Clan Ass. Be very careful about trying to sweep mines while you're under fire. They could trigger the 222's gun and cause a disaster to happen. Of some attack rounds here, but getting blocked by the tree line. And 20 coming in. And getting out. <laughs> Bit of a drive by. Just checking if uh, Clan Ad's awake. Oh, it's going to get in Fousting range. And 20's going to back out for repairs. Or getting repaired itself here. Hacks rolling into closer range. Try for some more attack rounds, I think. That one's getting through. Sniper's back here, has been picking away. 15 kills now. So the quad's gonna rotate to the north. Oh, Latouf, no retreat. Ostrip's dead. But uh, the quad spitting out big suppression there. Oh, here's the looks rolling up. Latouf did end up going for a mortar. Which, uh, you know, I think it's going to be quite helpful, but maybe needed to go for an anti-tank gun at, at this stage instead. Go for the mortar after that. Because, you know, this is basically a mortar anyway. I could just this barrage this building. Clear it out. Stuka, but uh, good dodge from PS3S. They're not doing much. Tiny bit of veterancy, just tickled at 50 count. And we see uh, Fernando actually floating a lot of manpower at this stage. Generally, if you're going for these strategies like mechanized with double light vehicles, uh, light vehicle. Walking Stooky, you kind of want to go heavy on starting infantry since you'll be quite late getting your overs out. Your tech being delayed. He yeah, only has three main lines. Let's try and make some plays up here, and they're gonna cap the fuel at least. It's not connected though. The mortar working on the MG now. Getting a few decent hits. But, uh, double zooks on the rear echelon. Nice connection. Oh, AT gun very far back. Good dodge on the rifle mate after that as well. The scripts eventually forced away up there, so never really connected this fuel pack coming down both the allied light vehicles in this area oh luckily the pack misses that shot don't know if there was an attack round or an actual shot he's right on the edge of the range might have been an attack round either way Twenty's gonna survive and you know, kind of forcing Planet to waste some munis on these Fausts. Oh, he's, he's making a move with the quad, but it wastes its first burst on the bunker. 
It was a decent idea the you know pack was a little bit out of position to return fire. Some rangers coming in now for pier 3, yes. Looks like he's still only got one bazooka on the lieutenant at this stage. He's walking Stuka targeting his infantry. What was that? Big old whiff. Did damage on the 222. Ooh, big damage on the M20. It looks coming back in. Both these squads getting suppressed. But the bazooka re echelon waiting around the corner. He's trying some tricky maneuvers. He pops the smoke. Bazookas into the building here. Even one volley from both bazookas wouldn't result. And the looks dying. Speaking of dying, the uh, MG42 ended up getting D crew back here. I'm guessing to the Soviet mortar, maybe a little bit of assistance through the center. But Panzer IV out now for Clan Ed. Reasonable timing. Command bunker back here. Gonna dig in around this area. Still zero kills on that walking Stuka. Rough start. Going for a second Rakitin now. Into tech. Good bazooka shots in there. This pack trying to destroy this cover. That was weird. Comes back in with the M20. Gets out of there before any raketin damage comes through. Got a T34 rolling up for Latouf. Still, I yeah, he's got this in the build now. It's not on the front lines yet, so not paid up diving too deep with that T34. Planes out the back, bit of damage. Enemy forces are securing our territory. Terribly impressive though. Comes the Panzer IV to the north. The Tooth doesn't really have enough support to maintain this position. Maybe if you could take up, you know, spots behind these heavy cover tanks, the guards could dig in for a while here, but being chopped down pretty quickly by the LMG Green Deers and the sniper, and they even drop one of the PTRSs. Just going to gonna ooh right up. Don't pick that up, mate. Oh, Tooth, why would you do that? Maybe if you could get seven men as well as a PTRS, I could see it, but you, you can't. This is the only unit that I pick up PTRS is on, uh, like, <laughs> Pioneers is off there. It's a little bit of extra anti-tank, mainly on the sweeper squad. Pretty much any other squad, it's not a good idea. Maybe your you know, your combat engineer sweepers as well. Yeah, but those are basically the only two. Hmm. Well, uh, you know, pretty even on the victory points still at this stage. Seems like maybe the Axis had slightly better. Fuel control to this point. Ready for orders. That being said, this has been uh, pretty secure in the last five minutes or so. Whereas uh, Latouf did manage to harass up here a couple times recently. Jumping into the building, did end up snipping that wire. Oh, big grenades. Is that from the Fusiliers? up to bit 3 now, T-34. 
just head up. We do have these double kittens lingering, and oh boy, M20 getting stuck on these logs. Looks almost certain to go down here. Pops the smoke too late. M20 is dead. Unfortunate, getting stuck on the logs. I would guess maybe gave that order from the tactical map or something. Okay, uh, early Kachusha here, and uh, smashing through the center, sniper's in danger. Everything's surviving, close call. Good start for the Kachusha though, much better than that walking Stuka, still only two kills. Kachusha's uh, outdone that in one barrage. And still, uh, it's no good. Well, Fernando didn't have this much float. Maybe part of the reason why he hasn't been able to force back the PS3 is as effectively he's just missing one unit. And he's got his tech down now, he could build a squad of ogres or two. So it's really no excuse. Oh, 2-2-2, two, two, two. very lucky. This is that shot. Anti tank grenades in the works here. T gun spins around but misses again. I think it would die to one more anti tank grenade, so the riflemen are trying to keep pace. Oh, but the 2 2 2 back there, so is there going to be flak base, so this is dying too fast, gives up on it. Oh, but maybe he's coming around the side. Yeah, a T gun rotating across this way. Good work from PS3. Is able to polish that off. Mm. So now triple cap against the Axis. That walking Stuka not really hitting anything is really. Fighting the axis right now. Still only two kills. Might have an easier time trying to target the Soviet units. But I think part of the problem is need some vision. Can use these fusiliers, of course. Ooh. Oh, grenade out. Oh, double grenades, in fact. MGD crude. Kachusha with the flare, speaking of that. On the tooth. Uh, hitting too much in the end. Doubles this. Shot connecting on the Panzer IV though. T 34 is rolling up here. We've got the uh, Command Tiger meanwhile coming up. Oh, wow, really lucky shot from the T-34, it was like max range backing away scatter. Is that unit. With the Pershing now though, to go hit toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Command Tiger. And uh, yeah, MG down, so we're a squad of folk screen ears. So looks like I might have missed. So all of a sudden, Fernando are in a spot of bother here. Tiger though getting some big hits in. T-Gun's rolling up, but... Bouncing. Pushing up for a pier still. He's gonna go for the steal on the raquette and Tiger going for some attack rounds, missing. Planted, uh, heading for repairs. Did end up getting down a uh, cache up there, and he's gone for another bunker as well. He's invested a lot into these bunkers. 
Looks like he's still in for a tiger and getting kind of close to that on manpower. Shusha and Pack, how are you raining down? Is he going to get out of there though? Let's heal themselves. Oh, I think they're healing the crawler. <laughs> <laughs> you can't bring him back to life, unfortunately, lads. Okay, bounce from Rakitin, so no engine crit on that Pershing. And uh, Rakitin not having a good day there. Some flares up, spotting. Panzer IV coming down the side. Some rear armor hitting. Tiger coming back out now as well. Stuka down the bottom. His team weapons could be in some trouble. G hanging on by a thread. And the Tiger rolling up behind this. Looks like the Rear Echelon trying to jump on the AT gun. Oh, 50 cal goes down. Rear Echelon go down. Anti tank planes coming in now as well. Pershing's in some big trouble. He's blitzing in. Main gun crit, unfortunately, on the Pershing, so can't defend itself at all against this Panzer IV attack. If it had a main gun, it could probably have won this fight, given the way that these bounces are gone. But that is a devastating blow to PS3, yes. Lost a huge amount there. T-34 coming in, trying to salvage this. Got the Mark vehicle active on the Panzer IV. Up in the there, but they're not going to come in. Oh, here they come now. Too late, though. It's free and clear, and the T-34 is bouncing a lot as well. It was a greedy move from P3S, trying to jump on this weapon with the rear echelon. And boy, did he pay the price. The second Tiger out now for Clan Ed. Looks like Latouf pretty close to the ISU 152 though. Allies just need to hang on until then. AT gun still over here as well. Could still recover it. Quad's still alive by the way. Looks like it might have shot down those planes eventually. But they did the damage. And that's how things with those planes, you know, they do so many instances of damage. But they're uh, quite likely to cause those main gun crits when you add that kind of health threshold. So many opportunities to prop that main gun crit. AT guns, holding firm. And the Axis did actually fall behind on the victory points during this phase, so the Allies still have plenty of time to build their way back into this. Few bazookas connecting. Looks like PS3 is going to go for perhaps the Pershing again. As you can see from the cooldown, still has two minutes of fuel required to build it as well. I do have a few cash back there in the uh, corner. That's it from the pack alley. Okay. Right, maybe the tiger's going to come through to finish this off. This there though, and maybe the tiger doesn't have vision. Pakawi decruit by the walking Stuka. That's a great target for it. That Pakawi so vulnerable. It's a long time to pack up. Very slow moving around. Six man crew as well. It's decruit when it gets down to two models. Very easy to decruit Pakawi. So it's a good target. Just have to kill four models. Just, you know what, you kind of have to kill from a 
machine gun or similar, but on the pack alley they really clump on the weapons a lot of the models, so it makes it very easy to get those decrease. Oh, Panzer IV may be overextending here. What's the size you doing? Why didn't it shoot at the Panzer IV? What? Oh, big mistake there for Latouf. I think it might have killed the Panzer IV. This does so much damage per shot. Getting extremely close. But maybe maybe he's still on high explosive actually. Thought he would have been on armor piercing for sure. Alright. Not that likely to pin with the uh, HE shells equipped. Looks like this AT gun did get polished off at some stage. Comes back on the pack, Howie. I'm going to crew it back up to six models. Okay, a couple of D crews out the back, though. Nice doing well holding on in spite of all those losses. And Pershing just around the corner. Not much manpower to go now. In fact, it looks like he's not reinforcing the rear echelon. Try and save some manpower for that. Screen is dead in the center, the ISU. Starting to roll now. There's a looking Stuker again. So like targeting these AT guns. Ooh. It's a conscript squad. Okay, now the walking Stuker. Getting the job done. Oh boy, what's he doing with this out the back? I think he's going for the Katusha. But the quad finds him and knocks him out real fast. He's dropped down the planes though. If the planes target the quad, doesn't look like they're going to. Targeting the ISU instead. Meanwhile though, Tiger pushing through the center while all this action's going down. Both the planes shot down, so they're not going to come through for a second pass. And here comes the Pershing now. The Katusha does end up falling. Looks like the Panzer IV dived in to polish it off while it was chased away by the 222. One more shot, and I think the Tiger's dead here. Pershing coming in for it. Oh, but he bounces. He could have used the M93 shot there. That would have been the perfect situation. It's kind of like 50 50. Whether uh, damage wise, he would have got the kill there just with one more Pershing shot, but with that. This shot, extra damage, extra penetration. I think it would have guaranteed the kill. If it landed, of course, it is a skill shot. But the tiger was backing straight up. Pretty much the perfect situation to use it. T-34 doing some risky maneuvers. Could go down now to the tiger. Oh, pack misses though. Lucky break for Latouf. Ooh. And that ISU slapping hard. Mission comes through for a cheeky shot. That quad surviving. Such a big deal. Really helped the Allies out. That activation would have been so much nastier if it wasn't around. For a second rear echelon now to try and speed up repairs. Got plenty of munitions to make them another bazooka squad as well. So typically, you know, bazookas are not that good against tigers. They just have so much frontal armor and so much AoE on their weapons. They end up beating a lot of manpower using bazookas against heavy tanks. Mediums, you can kind of work it. Maybe it's, it's another story. And they do have longer range as well on the Tiger. Especially once they start to hit V2. Not particularly close to it though on either tank. Oh, actually, this one. Very close to 50 range now. Pack Harry Barrage. Tiger coming around the corner, He's, he cleared the way with that sweeper, detected, no mines, so it's done to open up now. This is 
getting something going here, but the Persian coming in from the side, and here come all those bazookas. Good direction, though, for this to back away. And gets away with it. Good work there from Planet. Okay, more to decrude. Pushing at least can occasionally bounce these raketin shots. Making life a little bit easier for PS3S. Yes. Oh, fight all the bazookas at these raketins. Line up now on the Tiger. Maybe only one of them penetrated. Four. Back how he decrewed. Looks like the uh, Tiger trying to finish off the weapon, but the double AT guns couple hits in there, Vet 2, they got that rate of fire boost. Rather formidable at this stage. Oh, the Pershing! Planet having a bit of uh, bad luck at the moment with these grenades. Getting picked off at like max range by the enemy's tanks. The enemy is taking our territory. Pershing making a bit of a play through the center. Also, Tiger is quite damaged. Trying to set this up, he's reinforcing it off the command bunker, but that was a little bit greedy from Planet. If he just backed it away a tiny bit further, I think he's fine. And wow, P3 sticks around to finish off the decrew weapon after that. Relying on that Pershing armor to hold strong, and it does. Bouncing a couple shots. Pyro's dead up here as well, and uh, Helm G on the ground. Here as well. Oh, so you're on the armor piercing at the moment. Before coming up to the north, it's a shot on the quad. Just to finish the job on it here, and does. He's vested up, he's got that rate of fire bonus. Button, and he's oohahing in, looking for the uh, engine crit. T34 rolling up here, but Panzer 4 does hit the armored skirts. T34's got to try to get on the rear armor. Oh, T34 missing at that range. It's not looking good for the T34 here. Oh, it's just going horribly wrong for this T34. And there it goes. Tiger was blitzing up here just in case, anyway. Does not work out well for Latouf. I think once he saw, like, I think it was the first two shots on approach bounce. I think one bounce, one miss. Probably should have given up on the chase at that stage. Followed through and uh, backfired badly. Had to forward the armored skirts and, you know, all those reload bonuses. Just too formidable. Stuka getting some big hits now. Got off to a slow start, but 23 kills. The thing that I don't think we've seen so far is any uh, combined arms action. For the uh, Pershing. Can really help uh, you know, the extra range from combined arms very helpful when battling these tigers. Just rolling up for a couple of hits. Want to decrude out the back. <laughs> Didn't last long. The axe is holding at the moment. You see the axe do have a slight army size lead, about 15. Now a uh, Jackson rolling up as well as a quad getting rebuilt, so now maybe the Allies are actually slightly hidden pop cap. Planet okay, though's got the worth for coming up, so okay, we'll just say it's even. Even Stevens. Could be difficult for Latouf though with uh, all these support weapons. I think it's two pieces of rocket artillery now. Does have an S-85 though to support 
could get out positioned. Looks like the Fox Grid is recovered. Uh, this LNG in the center of the map. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Clan Ad gets one back there. Lucky shot finishing off the conscripts. He was due, you know. He suffered two wipes in a similar fashion himself. Okay, Pershing up to Vet 3 now. He's got the uh, second reload bonus. Oh, no. oh the second reload bonus got the that's right. Uh oh. Here we go, they're speaking of making a move. There is a mine here. From double AT guns, so the tiger's actually gonna back off. Close range Katusha. Some troubles. ISU is on. High explosive though at this stage. Now the Panzer IV is going to try some crazy stuff. Oh, he's going to run right into that mine. Ooh, skates on by. That was a very close call. He's dropping down the planes. He really wants to finish off this ISU. Oh, he might be able to, thanks to the planes. Let's see what they've managed to do here. Looks like they're, mm, they're targeting the tank destroyers, not the ISU, so it's going to survive. Risky move with that Panzer IV. Did not pay off. There's just so much anti tank in that area, he's, he's lucky he didn't hit the mine. If you're going to make a dive like that, you really need uh, to have your rocked artillery like ready to roll, maybe in close range already, so that you can drop it down on the AT guns while they try and spin to face the other direction. Hope that you get a decrew on one or both of them. Looks like Planet's switching over to Panzer Grandies now. Hmm. I, I don't really see the point in this. If you're up against, you know, mainly vehicle based sources of damage, the you know, killing your squads. Panzergrenies with their high reinforcement costs. It's just going to cost you more manpower. Oh, wow. We should be making some moves. Oh. Oh. Bit of a lucky break for the Pershing there. P4 missing. He did stop, like, briefly at the edge range on that. Oh, boy, what's happening with this Jackson? That's in some trouble now. gets behind the building oh and it goes down though those tigers they got that extra range i think that's what we saw come into effect there from the command tiger Just a little bit of range from vets allowing it to get that final shot through but yeah i don't understand those p rings man it's just, i feel like it's gonna cost me a lot of manpower Gonna have Panzerfaust available to you know, slow down the SU-85 or anything. Okay, we've got a Panther now for Clanet. Like he did lose one of those P greens. Command bucket down here now. It's by the major artillery. off his, his vet so it's got the extra shells and it actually knocks out the bunker with the last hit bit of good fortune there for ps3s yes, with the scatter on those shells but you're definitely more likely to get the kill when you do have that vetted bonus thing it's vet 2 on the major where it gets the extra shells yeah W Tigers re-roll. The flank here from PS3, yes. 
Number of kittens facing a good direction. Panzer four. Oh, gets picked off at max range. He didn't pop blitz. Big mistake there by Fernando. Another double tigers looking for some revenge. They're dropping down the planes. They're missing a lot of shots here. Firing on the move, but there we go. Pershing unable to escape. Double tigers is rolling on through. He fought dead out the back here though. How did that happen? Oh, that was where it ended up exploding. <laughs> okay. I thought there was like another Aussie hands before and I was getting confused. Just out of control. Drove myself over here today. Oh boy. Rangers dead on retreats. Got a fresh jack now for P3S. It's doing alright. Axis have really pulled the lead of the Allies back on the victory points. To just 40 points now. And the planes from Planet, you know, he's been using them in pretty good situations by and large. They do get shot down quickly by that quad. Soviet mortar providing some vision for this Jackson. I still have that 10 range advantage over both the Panther and the Tiger, but sometimes get a little bit too close. It's hard to fit like 60 range on the screen sometimes from some angles. That's why you may see some players like AEs like switch the uh, camera angles sometimes. Easier to fit those kind of ranges on the screen effectively. I think if there was like some camera mode where you could like switch it by default for like each spawn, I'd probably do it honestly. But like the uh, continuous view from everything looking the same as well. Worth a strike out the back. Connecting. Ooh. Nice. You also hit in large shots. 30 kills on that now. Guards have to come out of firing positions to dodge that. Such a fast cooldown on their ability as well. It's, it's definitely a little bit too strong. No drawbacks to using it really. Sniper still alive, by the way, for Clan Ed. He's done a very good job. 66 kills. Impressive. Oh, right. <laughs> Did they say that? Guys, he just rolls up and annihilates it. Super long range. Heartbreaker. Bazooka's getting dropped here. Oh, this is a bloodbath for PS3. Yes. Lucky he got out of there with those re on. They were so clumped against the tree line. The Pyo is just donated there by a clan at. These tigers are hitting hard now. They've got those uh, reload bonuses. Ooh. Oh, and there we go. Small mistake with the uh, Jackson getting a bit too close. And the tiger, as I was saying, got those reload bonuses now. Such rapid rate of fire. The regular Tiger the Jackson would have got away there, but with the Vet 3 one, not happening. Not PS3 years after all those losses, the Jackson, two Jacksons, and the Pershing in a relatively short space of time. The Tiger, oh my god, died so quickly there, just didn't bounce anything. See you later. out the back. Really knocks out the Fusiliers.
Okay. Bit of a move here. Planes drop down from Clan S. Looking to get something going with the Panther, but he gets hit by the button. Stops him in his tracks. Ooh, but the guards got blasted there by something. He's ready five. He ends up going down to the planes out the back, though. So I'd say that's a good activation. Okay, he's ready five. Just try and jump on the VPs here, but they're well guarded. Folks with the uh, on Jeep. Ukraine's dead over here, though, by the way. Gets into the ISU again. Too sure about ready to fire. Still axes with the army size lead. But Latufa about to spit out another SU 85 now. It's going to cause big issues for the Axis. Might need to see these Rakitans uh, making some creative plays to counter that. Can't get them to seem to too much firepower. Soviet Mortar though has been getting good value for Latouf. He's been using the flares nicely. We're going to pop some off now to spot for the Katusha. That Katusha didn't it get six kills on its first barrage? Oh, did he rebuild it? I can't remember at this stage of the match. Amazing, he's dead in the middle. Oh, so the Grand is. Anything that's trying to cap in the middle at the moment is dying fast. Tech rounds. It does, but into the same area instead of into the retreat path. Okay, Panthers coming around the corner again. We got some guards there again, though. Could pop the button. Tried to dive. Not going to, though. A lot of anti tank here for the Allies. Are losing control of the Northern VP, though. They're going to fall behind on victory points. Double of kittens pushing in. A couple of hits on the Jackson. Looks like rebuild on the Rifeman for PS3, yes. Got some new ranges out as well. Still on high explosive there. This is, I feel like it's been camped here for a long time. Planet saving up for another tiger just about there. He doesn't have any pyros for repairs though at the moment, so kind of relying on the mid uh, the mechanized truck. Decent idea targeting there, but scatter's no good. Maybe a little bit too far back with the Werfer. Doesn't end up doing too much in the s 35 Focus sight through the center axis. Try and make use more of smoke. Attack round there for Latouf and the fuselier is forced away straight off. These kind of, you know, stalling situations. Both teams with one VP, one neutral. Turn this into a real marathon match. I think it probably would pay for the Tiger at this stage to maybe try operate away from the center a bit more. Try his chances on the edges a bit. Try to force these tank destroyers and whatnot to move around. Side walking Stuka there again. Fernando. Oof. Okay, there we go. Tiger out for Clanet. She's away from the grenades and the SU-85's rolling up. Tiger's going to come back in, but I think twice after taking the SU-85 shot from the side. 
Pretty good mortar hit though on all those guards. Quite performer back there, 18 kills. Jackson Raymond does switch over to deal with the Tiger. We're rolling up down the far side. Still a lot of manpower for Fernando. This is Popcat limit at least now. Just about. One thing that he could squeeze into his composition, I believe, is a uh, IR searchlight. I think that three is it. So even if he reinforces. Oh. Oh, that's an M20 mine there. Oh my god. This could be devastating for Fernando. Rolls up here with no sweepers. Jackson trying to get away. The planes are coming down. Oh, here comes the Gachusha, the Rakittens. One re echelon dead though. And the other one gets smashed by the Tiger. The Panzer IV's armor holds strong. The SU 85s. Tied up by the Panthers, making a dive. He wants to go for the Kachusha, but the turrets face the wrong direction, and it goes down. The turret spinning from side to side doesn't get a chance to fire. Oh no! Oh, what a what a crazy battle! Tiger blitzing away. Oh, just gonna survive one shot. All these. Allied tank destroyers on one hit as well. The Fusiliers, if they ATNated the Jackson, they would have killed it there on that amount of health. Trying to repair up this Fusilier. Well, then this uh, Panzer IV. The Jackson's coming down though. If he can just fly from max range, should be able to knock it out. To decrude there. Something you have to watch out for. I mean, not not in 20 mines. He is heavy cavalry. You know, the riflemen can plant mines as well. I suppose in that particular area, the raketons have run over, so the rifleman mine would have triggered at that stage. But, Oof, okay, M20 mine. Whoa. What a sequence there. Planet though, the Panther. Uh, that was a bit ugly. Diving in for the Katusha and. <laughs> Oh, it's comical with the turret spinning from side to side. <laughs> oh man. Bait the rangers into the tiger here. Tiger's on prioritized vehicles though. Still gets a bit of damage done. Rebuild on the Panzer IV. Did lose one Rakitten, so uh, has a little bit in his pop cap after all that again. Might be regretting building the Panzer IV though, because there's a fresh Pershing on the field. Probably gonna need some extra anti tank to uh, help deal with that. I suppose he can build the Rakesson again. Now it's not going to be... It was Vet 4 or Vet 5 there, the one that got decrews. That's the other effectiveness. Okay, Pershing coming around the corner here. Oh, big Kachusha. Kitten could go down. Okay, no. Pershing and Jackson combining up here on the Command Tiger. Command Tiger a little bit slow backing away. He is messed up enough that he has Blitz now. I think that's four. Yeah. He went to be mod dead in the center. Oh boy, what's happening to this Tiger? Oh, 
Okay, he drops the bus and now he only just got the munitions, but it doesn't last for long at that range. And the Tiger's going to skate out of there on one shot. The Panzer IV looking to counterattack, but the Pershing's coming around the corner now. One Tiger coming back in. And our clan has dropped down the planes to try and make this a bit safer for the Axis. The Command Tiger wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Pershing. He has to go up the chase. Planes already shot down that quad. I think every single time it shot them down before they came through for a second pass. He's off the uh, bunker there, I think, with the ISU. Threatening to come in from the side here. So quite a few VPs left, but it seems. Oh. Holding off on the anti tank grenade, waiting for this bazooka to get up here. It could be an engine crit if he threw it out. He's activating it now, but it's too late. And he loses the rifleman there. Looks like fatigue's starting to set in here. That was a big mistake for PS3, yes. We've got so few units like this. Expect better control, but, you know, we're an hour into this game now. Can start to slip. Bring this up real fast though. Jumping up with the Jackson vehicle crew to assist. And the Axis are the ones on the drain and they're behind on the points as well. Downs VP area. Griffith comes in really close for this one. Probably would have been better off going with the low angle attack there. I don't think he utilized it. It's a much faster time to come down. It's 35, an awkward position. But wow, what a hammering. This Panther just getting annihilated. I don't think it bounced a single shot, which is maybe a little bit unfortunate, but a lot of these weapons are vested up. They've got the penetration bonuses. So, uh, very low chance to bounce any more than to all that veterancy. Change brought down again by Clanad, but this time this Tiger's too low to really capitalize on it. This one's kind of just buying the access a bit of breathing room so they can cap the VPs. Did actually come forwards, but smashed. Kent's trying to creep through the center. Looks like PS3 is just going for mass bazookas on this ranger. Oh, and that. <laughs> oh, no. That yeah, was some clumsy Panzer IV driver. What was that? I did. <laughs> around like a snake. Never seen those kind of maneuvers before. I think the tiger kind of complicated that movement. Oh boy, speaking of the tiger, the Jackson coming in, he's got the AP rounds and he's a sniper. Picks it off at max range. His high velocity arm piercing rounds getting the job done there. Rangers did end up going down, but hey, you know, for a Vet 5 command tiger, that's something uh, Happy to make that exchange. Oh, double kittens here. What happened to that anti tank grenade? It took so long to come off. I guess the model throwing it probably died and then. Oh, well. Oh, carnage in the center.
Axe is the one holding on at the moment and flame attack from the walking stupid to try and deny the capping. Looks like the uh, lieutenant can stand on the edge, doesn't take too much damage. So the squad always defending this point. Some guards holding the north. So the allies looking to try close this one out. Still with loads of resources for the rebuild for Fernando. He's building a panther. He could build a com just a king tiger, right? Or do they share a cooldown with the regular tiger? Such a rare scenario to happen that you have enough resources to call in the KT immediately after losing a command tiger, but I don't actually know how that works. Smoke a little bit too slow. Very took big damage. The fusiliers. We've lost a squad of infantry. Follow up hit. Nasty. Worth a strike out the back though. Knocks out the guards. Fifty points remain. doing well at this range. Here comes the Gachusha though. Not just forwards of the damage. Jackson pokes his head around the corner, but just gets hammered. Oh, the anti-tank pointing this direction. One squad of PBs does go down. I think that was a creeping barrage, actually. Looks like it was rolling in this direction. Jackson looking for the Panther. He's already five combining up. This is in trouble. The Tiger's there, though. Got some up vehicle on it, just in case. also very high on resources so he's kind of happy to take some suboptimal trades if it means more victory point control for the allies there's the Jackson Panther diving forwards the AT guns having trouble finding the right direction but the uh, smoke from this wreck blocking the Panther from firing Panther blitzing out oh goes down anyway might have been better off just accepting the trade against the SU-85. Oh! The planes! Oh, the planes knock it out. And then the 2-2-2 diving in takes out the Kachusha as well. Big moves there by Clan S. Oh, and then the Rakitans rolling up on the Pershing through the middle. Axis making the plays happen. They're down to 22 VPs. Refusing to give up. Flank on the MG. That's dead. And it looks like it's going to be a King Tiger now for Fernando. It's rolling onto the field. Manages to cap. 2-2-2 does go down out the back, but it looks like it knocked out the ambulance as well. And what a move from Clanet. Rebuild on the Katusha and SU-85 for Latouf. It burns through most of his manpower reserves. Try and cap with the Zis. Got the blitzing in, but the Panther wasn't healthy. This is coming out of camouflage. Oh, Clanet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Tiger did up here as well? Oh, no! Oh, the throws! Oh. Oh, that's pain. That is pure pain. Maybe if the Panther was at full strength, but yeah, there's this coming out of camouflage. Getting that uh, bonus. Planet, uh, if he just didn't lose the tiger as well, it would have been fine. Not good, but fine. Flames down the center, guards decap. Tiger, oh, what's that? Kachusha doing that far forwards? 
lucky the smoke was down. We brought on the Fusiliers for Fernando. I think it's fine to go for Fusiliers in this situation. Don't die as easily to the Pershing or the uh, ISU with their higher model count. Easier to keep them alive than the Overs. And the Allied infantry is not that formidable that he needs elites. Two series with the G43s can hold their own. Good folly in there. Got the, oh, it's a light AT mine. Oh, and there's a Jackson back there as well. Oh, he's blocking his own Panther with his Rakittens. Oh, that is ugly maneuvering by Fernando, but they knock out an SU-85 at least. Now the Pershing's looking to mop up these Rakittens. One of them down. Oh, he's dead. The King Tiger's still staying in here, but misses a crucial shot. Would be threatening the kill on the Jackson otherwise, and there would have got it. Unfortunate miss. Sternpire's dead. The Pershing. It's a big hit, and there go the doubles. This from the side mark vehicle on the KT. As you rolling up, he's still on high explosive, though. Flooding the field with SU-85's Latouf. Another big old flank here from the Rangers getting around the side of the machine gun. Pretty much the exact same thing that happened last time. This time it survives though. The allies themselves, very long VPs. They're draining out. They're capping in the north. Making some plays for the center, but it's gonna say there's a machine gun there, not for long. Rangers do get forced off by the King Tiger. He's hoping for the kill, but not happening. And one of them goes down to the better up captain. Oh. Take on spearhead mode there. Suppressing. Oh, the captured jams. T guns lighting up that panther. He just can't complete the cap though. And both teams in the teens now. It was just backing away, they're very low. Oh, and that's a big old whiff on the Morgan Stuka. Oh, high is dead. Really is forced off by the bars and they pick him off at max range. Oh no. May not matter immediately to the Axis, but you know, he'd be hoping to bring that squad back in to contest the next fight. 52 points. Good dodge on the artillery there with the lieutenant and the Pershing. Great attack rounds into the smoke. Might have even had vision, hard to tell. Either way, that Stumpire is well, truly dead. So is the Lieutenant though. Quick kill, the Panther coming down the side but misses its first shot. We've seen that so many times from Planet. Trying to cap. Pershing focus on the infantry, knocks it out. And he switches its attention to the King Tiger, which bounces off the Pershing. We've got a Yak Panther rolling up behind this. Carnage in the center as well. King Tiger just keeps missing, and now so does the Yak Panzer. Oh my god, this King Tiger cannot hit at all! Oh, this. Wow. Panther coming in looking to hide behind the logs, but it's too late. Axis just can't cap all the capping units in the center. Cut down by that ice huge 89 kills. Oof, this was. A brutal match. Some great plays uh, all round. Clanet, he, he went from that moment of brilliance, the planes with the 222 dive causing so much carnage to 
a massive misplay diving in with the you know slightly above half health panther and then losing the tiger just to the solos this up here don't think the tiger even had an engine crit seemed rather avoidable and i think that really that made it so hard for the axis to build back in to close the show they did a good job i think they were at that point maybe at like the allies were at 70 and they were in the mid 20s i think just about got the job done, but not quite. The allies hung in there right till the end. The tooth burning through his manpower reserves, building back up to 100, whereas uh, Fernando didn't really manage to do the same. You know, he had like, I think about 2,500 float at one stage. Burned through a bit of it, but should have just been pumping units here in the end game. But yeah, GG. Wow, what a, what a match. We'll take a quick look at the uh, KDs. A tooth making a massive comeback after that terrible start to the sniper. S3S yes, though suffering that first command tiger so strong for Fernando. Clan had uh, having you know positive KD at the end. But yeah, GG, what a match. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.